For our third lesson, we are going to start looking at adding a behavior onto our shape. Let's tap on the behavior menu in the top right hand corner. It looks like a dial with an arrow pointing to the right. A behavior is made up of two different parts, the trigger and the action sequence. A trigger is how we can control our cube or shape in the space. And an action sequence is a movement or series of movements on one or more objects. There are multiple different triggers and actions. Start off slowly and don't worry or get too overwhelmed if you don't know what all of these are straight away. It can be a bit of trial and error. Let's start by adding a behavior. Tap on plus next to the behaviors and you will see tap and flip, tap and play sound, tap and add force, start hidden, wait and show, proximity and jiggle and custom. Let's tap on custom. Now you've got a trigger and an action sequence. Tap on add trigger to this behavior and let's choose tap. This means that we're gonna to have to tap on our cube to get it to do something. At the moment it says affected objects choose and it says one object and it's telling us it's already put this on our cube. If we wanna change or choose a different object, I will tap on the word choose and I can see that cube is green, letting me know that that object is affected. If I didn't want that object to be affected, I'd tap on it to deselect or if I did, I tap back on it and I can see it's reselected as it's gone green. Tap done in the top middle of your screen. Tap on add an action to the sequence and choose move, rotate, scale to. You can see that it's automatically moved the cube to the right of the screen. If you wanna move it back, tap and hold on the red arrow and drag your cube back into place. Again, like with your trigger, if you didn't want this object selected, tap on choose and tap on it to deselect, or tap on choose and tap on it to reselect. At the moment, our duration says one second, and we can make this longer or shorter by dragging the slider up and down, or double tap to bring up your keyboard and manually type this in. We've already got a position and rotation. Tap clear to remove these. And the last one is scale. We're gonna to try to move our cube to the right, but let's pinch to zoom out on the screen. Tap and hold on your red arrow and move your cube along the space. Tap the play button next to move, rotate and scale to to preview this behavior. Now tap play in the top right hand corner next to AR. Now you'll notice that this cube doesn't do anything. And the reason why that is, is when we put it into play mode, we've engaged our trigger and our trigger is tap. So we need to tap on our cube to get it to move. Now let's try to get our cube to scale at the same time. So scroll down and try to scale up this object. Now you can see my cube is going underneath the grid again, or it's going below the floor level, or if you're gonna put this onto a tabletop, it'll sink into the table, and we don't want that to happen. So let's pinch to zoom out a little bit and grab our green arrow and drag our cube up. Tap on play next to move, rotate, and scale to to check out what happens. So we're getting it to move and scale at the same time. Tap on play next to AR in the top right hand corner. Tap on your cube. Now let's get it to rotate as well. We're gonna tap on our blue arrow. And if you tap and hold on this circle, you can rotate your object. Tap play next to move, rotate and scale two to test this out. And tap on play next to AR in the top right hand corner and tap on your cube. And now we've learned to add on a simple trigger and a simple action sequence.